Actors, celebrities, models, musicians, royalty, statesmen. They've all been ranked. That is, photographed by John Rankin Waddell. Rankin, perhaps the most celebrated photographer of his generation. In his first major retrospective, Rankin Live, over 600 images offer a comprehensive survey of a career spanning 22 years, covering Rankin's work in portraiture, fashion and beauty, his collaborations with models like Kate Moss, Heidi Klum and his wife Thule, as well as revealing self-portraits and early works from his archive. We're at the Old Truman Brewery in East London. I was looking for a space that was a mu museum-sized scale, but I could come in and kind of convert and make it my own. The clue is in the title. Rankin Live is more than just a retrospective. I like the idea of having a live aspect within the gallery so you could see people being photographed, you could see what, they were, what, 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 what was happening, whilst also seeing all of the other images that I've created over the years. During the course of Rankin Live, over a thousand Britons will be photographed, with their portraits immediately added to the exhibition to hang alongside those iconic Rankin images of the great and the good, the rich and famous. I just didn't want to make it about my photos, I wanted to make it about them coming and experiencing the actual, the actual exhibition and what a photographer does. Shut up a little. To really find out what he had in mind for this unique event, Sky Arts teamed up with Rankin to take the Rankin Live experience out of the studio, out of the gallery and on the road to meet the people of Britain. Today we're going to go to Manchester and do Rankin Live in Manchester. We're going to take photographs of the real, real, real people of Manchester. Okay. I hate the word real people, I have to say, the expression I should say. Yeah, what would you rather describe it as? Subjects, nice, normal. But there is this division in um, in our culture where celebrities and normal people are seen as two different types of people. Ranking Live came to me. It came about, I think, because I'd been to the Congo in June 2008, and I'd done this project with 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 Oxfam in the in the Congo in one of the camps in Goma where I photographed uh, the people, the displaced people in the camps, um, and it was all shot digitally. And I'd had such an amazing experience with, with the people of the Congo and doing that, um, and that immediacy of the, 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 the shoot and the project made me realize that I think that there was a possibility as a photographer to kind of almost create a performance sort of spectacle um, when you take the shoot, take the photos. I always get asked, who would you really like to photograph? Who's your, who's your, who would be your, your, your dream subject? And I, my thing, and it's been my thing since I've been very, very young as a photographer, like probably when I, when I even started, was I just really want to photograph everybody. Chin down a little. That's gorgeous. I think you got to give me more of a smile than that. <laughs> a bit more um, Paris Hilton. Amazing, there you go. I think you got it. I like that one, yeah. To have your photograph taken by somebody who knows how to direct you and then have every photograph come out looking wonderful, it's, it's a real treat. I like the way that he, he captures personalities and characters. Um, and also the lighting is extremely flattering, so uh, hides the wrinkles. I live in Gorton with my parents and my mum saw the ad in the paper and um, sent in a photograph of me without actually telling me that she was going to do it. Yes, I'm very happy with it. It's an amazing image. There was actually quite a few that I was happy with, but um, I think that one's just more compact. So. What I really loved was when she got in front of the camera, she did all these really modern poses, like, you know, straight out of kind of a Vogue fashion spread or an Elle magazine fashion spread. Fully realised, I guess, might be, might be a way to describe it. You know, they seem to be fully realised pictures that capture something um, other about people. So it'd just be nice to see something, or I don't know whether proper is the word, but something that's kind of, I guess, well, you know, it's ranking, isn't it, really? <laughs> Can I see the photograph in my head? Yeah. Um, I'd say 90% of the time I can, yeah. And then I, I, I'll sometimes be surprised 
that I didn't catch it. Um, and I'll sometimes be surprised at how amazingly I thought, uh, how amazingly it's came, come out more than I thought it was going to. So it's, it's, not, like a, it's not like a fine science, but there is a, an element of, of, of art to it, yeah, there's no, there's no, I don't just go randomly put, pull, pull the trigger, pull the trigger, yeah. push the button, press the button. Press the button. Um, I don't randomly press the button and also I, I do press the button to kind of get some pace going so you'll shoot and you'll shoot and you'll shoot and you'll shoot because you'll be feeling it build, you'll be feeling it build with the person. Okay, let's have a look at those. The next stop was Liverpool, where the team set up Rankin Live in the spacious Walker Galleries of the World Museum Liverpool. I slept really well, yeah. I woke up very early. Chin down a little. Good. And then really use the elbows. Yeah, that's it. Try more hands on your I always go back to the first image and let them see it because sometimes okay, people go. come in and they give you absolutely everything in that first image without realising they're doing it. And then some people look like rabbits in headlights. So, and he said it looked exactly like his passport photo. I then binned it straight away and went down a bit further because I didn't really want to be the photographer known on Sky Arts for being the passport photographer. That's it, great. I'm face to face, you know, with the, the, with the subject. So I can't hide from it. I can't, I can't hide from the shit photo. You know, if I take a shit photo, they're going to, they're going to know it, they're going to see it straight away. So I think it, it ups my game because I have to do better. I was a bit nervous, but he was so easy to get on with and he really put me at ease and relaxed me. It, it's an odd thing really, but it seems to bring the inside kind of out, which, which is great. He's very approachable, isn't he? There's no ears and graces, what you see is what you get. I wasn't nervous because I didn't really know who he was. Not not because I don't read the magazines and stuff. I'm into my blues and stuff, so I'm not really into the popular culture. But when I looked on his site, I was blown away. Amazing. I'm a photographer, um, so I don't get my pictures taken. I take other people's pictures. Um, but I hate getting my pictures taken, and he he's just brilliant. He's just really great. and really put me at ease, and I really enjoyed myself. Visually hungry is uh, the need to take and create images all the time and to consume them. So visually hungry for me was a kind of representation of how I feel I, I am as a person. I'm always hungry to take more pictures. I'm always hungry to consume pictures. I really love pictures. So photography to me is like a, an addiction. I always think in 10 years or 20 years, what are you going to think of the photographs? And I feel good about them. And as I look at all the work, I can see that I'm really inquisitive. Great, I'm 43 and I'm still kind of a little boy, really. You know, some would say, a, you know, child, childish. But I would say childlike. I'm, I earn my money from taking commercial photographs, but I'm, I'm, I think at my heart, inherently, I'm a portrait photographer. You should always, you should always approach people with this, with this attitude of respect them for how they are with you, not necessarily you know, what they've done in their lives or what they think they are. If I cared about what people thought of me, I think that my work would be inhibited and I think that I would be inhibited about what I say, but I'm not really very careful about what I say, I just say it. To find out more about Rankin Live, go to skyarts.co.uk forward slash Rankin Live.